All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. A lot of you were quick to point out that in our initial videos that we showed the new QN90B, uh, we did it in a more of a lit environment. Again, if you guys read the comments, this was by design. I wanted to show you guys if you had any sort of daylight or windows around how the picture looked. Still looked great, but it was a little bit distorted just due to obvious natures of camera quality, reflecting on the TV, reflecting with the lights, and all that. So it did not make for an ideal picture. Having said that, I want to go ahead and show you guys exactly how great this picture is in a darker environment. We've moved this actually into one of the other bedrooms, and I really want to show you guys exactly the picture quality you should expect out of this. So first things first, before I actually jump into uh, a 4K uh, HDR video, I want to show you guys this ambient mode that I touched on in some of the other videos, uh, really reflecting how useful and neat this actually is to have. So we'll go ahead and use one of our favorites, these light cones right here. When you select it, this ambient mode came directly from what you were getting in the frame series, and you can see just how, uh, how dim it gets, but how unique of a quote-unquote vibe you'll get from having one of these going on. Uh, this is one of the least active ones. It just changes color. It's very adaptive uh, where you can actually edit it and change the color patterns you want. And it'll just redraw it with that new color design you want. I think it looks great. Nice to have going on in the background. So beyond that, if you wanted something else simple, you can create your own photos with the app or use one of these from the albums here. And choose this one right here. It'll download whatever you do not already have in your content library. It takes a couple seconds, and then it'll activate right on the display. And you can see it took a couple seconds, and it has already set that as we want as our ambient wallpaper. Uh, it has a low power mode. Obviously it's very efficient. It does not waste a lot of power drain if you were to run this 24 seven. Last one I wanna show you is again, one of those clock widgets and weather widgets that'll actually give you guys a little bit more useful information if you wanna utilize one. And it is actually somewhat more customizable in a unique scenario way. So you can see here, it's pulling in the current location and the current weather along with the time and date but you can kind of see it gives you a bordered look. You can actually change it. It's meant to obviously reflect a frame and you can edit all of that right here in addition to the colors. So you can see it says shadow effects and you can change it to none, the one we have on to a slimmer frame and kind of a more shadow slim frame as well. So a couple little options there for you guys to check out. But moving all past this, what we've been really wanting to show you guys that picture quality again. So if you scroll over to the left hand side, kind of where you saw we were on ambient mode, you can go to media, search, privacy choices, and your uh, menu. We're gonna go ahead and actually go to the media, jump right in to, let's do, let's actually change it from here. Let's jump into YouTube, kind of like we did in the past here, and play one of those samples. Now, you can see it keeps trying to kick back to our Chromecast we have connected. I want to give you guys a full, basically raw version of what you can expect here as opposed to what you're going to pull in from the other display. Or I should say your USB port. Let's do a quick search actually, instead of just going through all that. 4K HDR60. And we'll do our typical Let's do the blacks first for this LG sample. What I wanna do, I'm gonna shine my flashlight from my phone on the screen and you can see it really displays, displaces the light pretty well. You can't even really see it on this screen. There you go, you can see it, but it's very minimal. I'm gonna turn on a light in the background as well for you to see it now. And then with regular lighting, 
how well that picture quality still works. All right, so you can kind of get a good sample of that. Let's go ahead and jump into, again, that typical Costa Rica video. All right, went ahead and turned that light back off. Let's jump right into this one. Again, you can see how punchy, bright, and vivid all these colors are. It really is a marvel to see. It's unfortunate, obviously, a camera is not going to be able to capture how well this HDR content really looks just because of obviously being filtered through this lens instead of your direct eye perception. But one thing I hope you guys notice, and I'm going to go to another dark setting now too, the, uh, that bloom is neglectable. There is literally not any bleeding I can see, no extra blooming, and it's a huge improvement over past generations. Look at the darks, look at the individual hair in the background, look at the chest piece. There is literally nothing. This is a huge improvement as well. You can see there's not a lot of trailing being left behind either. It is very smooth. The refresh rate is definitely working. I don't see any judders or, or lag. Um, it's been a pleasure to view, like I said, in my, in my prior 48 hour video, it stands true to this point in time. A lot of you guys were also now asking about how well gaming worked. Stay tuned, we're in the process of actually moving our Xbox Series X up here to really give you guys a better, uh, better look at that as well. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to see if we can pull in over 140 hertz from that, see what kind of variable refresh rate or VRR we get out of that. But for now, I wanted you guys to see exactly what this looked like in ideal conditions, obviously in a pitch, back, pitch black bedroom. Uh, aside from this, and aside from the gaming modes, guys, let me know what else do you want to see in a future video. I know you wanted a little better quality here, so that's what you got. Uh, let me know. Happy to show you guys whatever you need. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.